welcome back to Trash Talk. Wissam, open for a three. One thousand and two points. Hits. Right now, I have a very special guest. A long time to finally get on the trash stuff. My big brother, Mario Wusa. What's up, Mario? How you doing, Rock? What's good, baby? <laughs> Always good to see you, man. Nice. Likewise, man. Likewise. So, a lot to talk about today. Okay. Okay. First time. Uh, first one is your basketball career starts at Bloomington High, Indiana. Yeah, Bloomington North. Mm -hmm. Bloomington, Bloomington North. Uh, you want a state championship? I did. Well, we won a state champ championship in 1997, uh, oh. senior year in high school. Okay. A lot of people was asking me. Where did Mario play college ball? So yeah. can you share that with everyone? Yeah, um, uh, after high school, uh, 1998, I went to junior college mm -hmm. in Arizona, uh, NPC, and then I stayed there for a year. Before that, uh, after that, I transferred to IPFW, which is, which was a D2 school back in Indiana, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, they're not D1, but yeah, that's where I played college. So you came to Indonesia in 2003. Yeah. And then how did you end up with ASPA? Well, Aspak, I mean, I, I had no, growing up in America, I, I didn't have any plans to come back to Indonesia, but uh, I got a phone call from Kim Hong, the okay. Aspak owner. I didn't know who he was, and he had uh, got my profile from a sports writer here in Indonesia, okay. and uh, about this kid in America, a Indonesian kid in America that's playing basketball, and he called me and wanted me to fly in like that week. And I said, whoa, whoa, what's going on? What is this? What's the IBL? And you know, the rest is history. So did you know anything about the IBL back then? Okay. I didn't, I didn't know anything about the IBL. Uh, I, like I said, I just, I hadn't, I didn't, I didn't grow up around Indonesians okay. in America. So I didn't know anything about IBL or basketball or if Indonesians even played basketball. So yeah. So what was your expectation of when you come here? Oh man, I didn't. I well, the first, the one of the things that I told uh, Kim Hong at the time on the phone was, um, just put me on the national team and and I'll come. And okay. that, that's that's one thing that I always wanted to do is, is just represent a country in, in international competition to you know to play against international pe uh, teams and, and players. So that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so you won three IBL championships. Uh, one ABL championship with the Indonesia Warriors, and then three si silver medals at the Sea Games. What would you say was your highlights of your career? Oh, I mean, every every one of those uh, achievements, you know, has its own story. But I would say just because uh, you know, playing internationally is something I always wanted to do, yes. and just see where I was against the best competition. So um, I think 2007 in FIBA Asia. Uh, coming in top 15 and scoring, I think that was that was one of my highlights of my career, you know, um, and just just playing against that high level competition. Uh, I think that that's and, and all the championships I've won, yeah. of course, is. Did you remember who played in the FIBA 2007? You played against? Oh, I mean like Fadi El Kati, wow. uh, Lebanon, um, Qatar had a strong team, mm -hmm. Mike Medantley, Syria. Okay. Uh, there's so many, so many big names. Lee Jin Lin, I mean, but uh, that's where the big boys play, you know. And then this season, you averaged 12.4 uh, point per game, number two among local in the ABL, and then 3.9 assists, that's number one amongst the local player in the ABL at 38 years old. That's the, that's the key number at 38 years old. So, how did you do it? I'm really not 38. I'm 24. <laughs> no, he's joking. Uh, man, it's just, I mean, I, get, I think it's just a testament to hard work. I mean, there's no secret to it. It's just working hard, staying disciplined. Like, even in the off season, you know, I, I never really get out of shape anymore. So, um, I think all that carries into my productivity in, in, in the season. And it's a blessing, man. For the young players, you say discipline, right? So. For all the young players, what is the key to stay disciplined? Man, it's, I mean, when I was younger, I wasn't as disciplined as I am okay. now, of course. I mean, you, you grow into it, but if I have any advice for the young guys, mm -hmm. it's, you know, 
set your foundation now when you're young as far as being disciplined and and that'll that'll benefit quickly okay so I mean I, I think um, you, you have to start now I wish I could have started when I was younger so next year could be your last year playing basketball professionally I'm scared hopefully not <laughs> so that will be your 16th season if I'm not mistaken so any chance that you will change your mind and play again maybe in the next two years or three years? Uh, I mean, I, I, I honestly don't know, but I mean, I think, you know, next year I'd like to end my season on a high note. And um, I think I've done enough as far as, uh, as a player, you know, okay. I've done enough as far as um, I try to achieve whatever I wanted to achieve. And I think I've done enough and, and just, want to just relax and, and uh, trying to find something else to do as far as that, something else that's challenging to me and put my passion into something else uh, after basketball. Okay. So there was, there was a confusion among basketball fans in Indonesia because you posted after the SEA Games, I think you posted that you, you were done with SEA Games. <laughs> <laughs> but people, I think, took it like, oh, he's done with the national team. So to clarify everything here, I would like to know, did you retire from SEA Games or did you try from uh, Team NAS? I mean, uh, when I posted that uh, mm -hmm. after the SEA Games, I, I felt like, you know, this is, that was my fifth SEA Games. Okay. And I, I just, you know, I think it's time for, for the younger guys to, it, it's, their, it's their time now, you know, I don't think I need to be in another SEA Games. Um, as far as the national team, you know, I, I never said I was done with the national team. Mm -hmm. um, uh, with that being said, uh, you know, no one's called me or anything like that, but I haven't even uh, gave it any thought as far as still wanting to compete with the national team and everything like that, because I know it takes a lot of your time. And, and um, yeah, so I, I'm open to, to still playing for the national team, but maybe not in SEA Games. Okay, so hashtag Mario for Asian Games. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't start the hashtag. <laughs> we'll start the hashtag, right? Because we need you for Asian Games. I think that's, that's, that's a good uh, exit for you as a national team player. Mm. I think that, that's like the biggest stage in Asia. Yeah. Would well, you agree? Well, with that being said, yeah. I mean, I, th I agree with you, Rock. I mean, that'd be a pleasure to play in that yeah. in the Asian games. But with that being said, um, Coach Ito is now in charge of the yes. national team. And honestly, if he doesn't call me, if the national team doesn't call me, I respect that. And I understand Coach Ito's decision on why he wouldn't call me. Yeah. And I respect that. And I think he, it's a good decision. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, it's, it's develop, developing them for the future uh, of Indonesia. And, and, and I, I, I'm, I agree with Coach Ito, you know what I mean? There, there's, no, there's nothing, no hard feelings there for me. And you know how I always felt about Coach Ito. Yes. I mean, he's, he's the best coach in Indonesia. Um, and I've always said that. I've never been, I've never hit that, you know. But I support him in his decision all the way. So, talking about coaching. You and Jimmy Alapa are good friends. You, res you guys respect each other. Now he's a head coach after playing so long in the PBA. He's a head coach of the Alapa Filipinas in the ABL. Will, is there a chance that you're going to follow his path as a head coach in a uh, professional league? Shout out to Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, shout out um, to Kuya Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, de I mean, definitely. There's a chance, yeah, for sure. I mean, basketball is, is something I've been doing since, you know, since I was little. So. Um, yeah, it, it's what I know, and definitely coaching is a, is a possibility for me. I, I would definitely, I think that's something I will try to uh, pursue in the future for sure. Um, yeah, because you're like the floor general, right? Like, yeah, and, and it's just you know, I, my passion is basketball, and I do love the game, and I, I've studied the game. I've been a student of the, the game, game forever, and I still am studying the game. But yeah, definitely. Well, about basketball academy. <laughs> or I mean, academy, uh, yeah. skill development. I'm, you know, I'm open to all of those things, and I think I can, I can lend my knowledge into those fields. So, you had an amazing career. I think. Thank you, Rob. You are like one of the best players that ever played a game in Indonesia Thanks, and even Asia. Period. Appreciate that. Uh huh. And then, how do you want people to remember your legacy and your career? Um, uh, just. I think uh, how I want people here to remember me is just hard work and hard work will get you places. Hard work will bring you success. But also, don't to not be afraid 
to stand for what you believe in. This is for the Indonesian um, fans, you know, to stand. Don't, don't be afraid to speak up and stand, stand up for what you believe in, even if that means standing alone at times, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, as long as your core values are on the right place and your mind and your heart are in sync or, and are in the right place, I, I think success will come to you okay. no matter what. That's, that's a good, that's a good point. I that concludes the interview today. Thank you, Uncle Rob. Thanks. Appreciate it, man. Love, bro. <laughs> this is my big bro. It's always love, man. This guy, <laughs> I met him in 2003. Cannot speak Bahasa. Only bisa ngomong lu gue, lu gue aja. Hey, I want to tell y'all. I know a lot of secrets about the lot, too. We've been, we've been through a lot of things. We've seen a lot. We've seen a lot. In LA, <laughs> Vegas. Vegas um, this is my big brother. <laughs> One love, all love for him. All love, y'all. Peace so, and love, man. Yeah, man, this is gonna be always my big brother, all, all forever, forever. For life, man. For, for life. life. We fan for life. Yes, and then, so guys, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment on this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel also. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.